Good. Where is it? Mike who? Mike James. <coughs> Mike Joe, Mike James. What up? What up? What's up, bro? What up? What's, What's good? good? How y'all doing? You know, good. everything's going well. Getting ready to watch That's this good. game. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Y'all watching any games right now? Uh, I was, uh, just, I was watching the Oregon game. So, yeah, yeah, that's I'm the one I was watching. Yeah, that's a good yeah, game right there. Yeah, Real Washington good. good. All right, y'all, let's get started. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jeremy Wallman, and I'll be your moderator for the first ever Louisville live stream on the Rave On Sports app brought to you by the U L Collective, the 502 Circle. Uh, the purpose of this innovative idea is to bring Cardinals that are from the past and present together so that you, the fans, can interact with them and talk to the athletes that you love. Tonight, we welcome in a couple of special guests. First off, please welcome one of the backbones of the 2013 National Championship team. He averaged a double-double in the tournament run and comes to you from Cincinnati, Ohio. He played his high school ball for the Bowling Green Purples. Number 21, Shane. Be handed. Shane, what's good, man? What's going on? Thank you, man, for the nice introduction. Look, that's what I try to do. That's what I try to do. Uh, and then second, now look, those of y'all that follow me on my show, y'all know that me and Mike already know each other. He's been on my show before. We had a great time. We're going to have a great time tonight, too, but I still have to get him an introduction together. So our current card this time comes to us from Oak Ridge High School. He has bounced back oh, from an injury better than ever. He hails from one of my favorite places on earth, Orlando, Florida, and looks to be a contributing factor to the card's upcoming resurgence on the national scene. Number zero, Mike James. LJ. Mike, hey, Mike James. <laughs> How you been, bro? I'm doing good, man. Glad to be on here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, fans, ask your questions in the chat. I've got some I'm going to ask while we're waiting on y'all's questions. Um, Mike, first off, is is the zero, is that for the number zero or is that for the letter O for Orlando or is it both? Uh nah, I wore a zero in high school. So <laughs> I want when I got here, when I first committed here, I was supposed to have number zero, but Noah Locke got it before me. And then I had to go with number one. So like when I had the chance to go back to zero once uh Devin Reed left this year, I just decided to go back to my high school number. Plus, like, I, I feel like I needed to change, like, needed to change after last season for so, so I wanted to start. Listen, and, and Shane's the reason why I'm able to buy something like this. Now, it's probably a knockoff. I ain't going to lie. Uh, <laughs> it's the Wish.com version of the National Championship <laughs> ring. But, uh, Shane, man, I, I just – I've followed you, your career, since since you were at Bowling Green. I have family in Bowling Green. We watched you play in high school. Uh, we've kind of kept in touch throughout the year. I mean, just like you do on Twitter. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Ran into you out of BW3s a couple times. That's always fun. Um, but just proud of you, man, because you had a you know you had a difficult uh, you had a difficult end run at Louisville, and to see what you've done just as a person, as as a, as a fellow former card as well. Um, I'm proud of you, and I know you don't always hear stuff like that, but just want to let you know I'm proud of you and, and what you've done, and it was was really excited, and it was really exciting to watch you at the TBT. Yeah. I, I think you froze a little bit. Did I freeze? Yeah. Yeah, your screen froze. We can still hear you, but your screen froze. Yeah, we can still hear you, though. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, yeah, no, nah, the TBT was just, uh, I told myself if I can still, you know, play at a high level, you know, with guys that's just coming back home from overseas that's been doing it day in and day out for nine months straight. So, and I was like, man, I can give it another, you know. I never, I mean, my thought was never to stop playing anyways, but that was just the icing on the cake to let me know, like, just go ahead and lock in. And, you know, like I said, I've been seeing Mike all summer in the gym. So, yeah. I, we both know what type of work we've been putting in. So, it's just like, it's, it's starting to get, you know, and and I'm back, so it's like, and I'm back in the gym, so it's starting to get a little, you know, back to normal ways of my life. Yeah, Absolutely, and that's that. one, that's one thing I can say is that Mike is a hard worker. Uh, is as some of you all know that do follow the show, um, me and Nolan Smith know Nolan since he was a kid. We're you know he's one of my best friends. He always gushes over the effort that Mike puts forward during practice and when there's not even, you know, he's one of the guys that when you ask him, like, who's some people that work really hard? And he's like, oh, man, Mike puts on the work 
when he's not even required to put in the work. So uh, just know that that's appreciated as well, Mike. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I can uh, shout out to Shane, man. Like seeing him in the summer, like putting that work, getting into shape. Like every day I was in there, he was in there. So like I seen the work he put in and just to like see him go out there with the rest of the guys during the TBT and kill. Like that was that was that was huge. Like I I loved every second of it. I want to see it again next year for sure. Yeah, yeah, we definitely bringing that back next year. Uh, oh, I know what to expect. We know what to expect. And yeah, we're gonna <laughs> add a little piece. I feel like we'd have had Chris Jones. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, I, I I said that. I'm like we'd have had Chris, but it'd have been on. But like I said, I think we're gonna add Chris to the puzzle next year, and uh, and probably like two more people. Cause I don't think Peyton gonna participate or Cal. I doubt them to participate, but yeah, I think we're gonna add two more two more people to the puzzle, three more people to the puzzle, man. We're gonna see what we're gonna do. Yeah, I, I, like, I, like, I like the squad. I like, you know, yeah, so we're gonna see. And I know that there were tons of former Louisville players that didn't get, even get asked that were I mean, they weren't salty about it, but they're like, man, I wish we could have played on this. So y'all are gonna have a good pick of the crop of former Cardinals oh, yeah, that yeah, wanted to sure. do it. There was a lot of people that wanted to play. So I'm gonna try to put, you know, a few people that I know for sure that that's gonna go out and get it and be dogs. So because I ain't gonna lie, that that tournament, like that's one and done. So it's just like one game, you gotta show, you know, you gotta give it your all. So I mean that's a challenge, but you know, we all should like challenges. Absolutely. And yeah, Earl Clark was one of the guys I was looking forward to seeing play. And uh, he got he got blocked at the last second. He, like I was literally on the phone with him talking and he's like, man, we were talking about getting together once he got here. And he's like, dude, they're not going to let me play. And it, it was just this hard. It, it was just nice. Now, all the turmoil we've had here at UofL over the last eight years, it was nice to have something that made you feel again. And, the, and that last second loss made me it. it upset me. I was like, man. No, it really did upset me too. Cause like not just for like the 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 fans, the money. I mean the fans of course, but it's just like I really wanted to just show Mike and because you know I know Mike and them was coming to the game a lot. I just want to really show them like what the crowd can really do as we go on. Like if we travel, you're gonna see the red and mostly all this thing. Like we say we would have made it through that whole little shadig. We done went to Dayton or Philly. I can't remember. You'd have seen more red than anything. Like this is so Mike and them. Like this is really what it is when you know when you winning and you know like just what the fans do is supporting you. So that's that's one reason why I really was like mm, I really just wanted to show them. I mean the money and all that was gonna be good and going, but making it far and just showing them like just the way because I really want them to have a great season. Like this is what it's really about for real. So like leaving the transition and legacy. So I really don't want to see no bad season because I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to come from a college that – I come from a college that was on and popping for two or three years. So let's try to get that back going. So football doing it. I mean, you know, basketball, I see the work being put in. I see the new guys coming in that's obviously better than some of the guys that was there last year. So And the guys that stayed and locked in, Mike, one of them. You feel mm-hmm. me? He ain't shy away from the challenge or the competition that Coach Payne brings. So – and I ain't gonna lie, Coach Payne workouts is <laughs> one of the toughest. So uh, I, I can't vouch that. And I'd have watched Mike do an individual with him by himself. That's a nonstop 45 minutes to an hour workout. You only get probably a two minute break, if that, if he lets you get a break. So that's nonstop. So I know what the work they type, type work they putting in. And like I said, man, we should have a great season. So we just got to let everybody buy in, do their job. And like you said, we had the same, you know, situation, but we just had to lock in and, Everybody's got to know they roll. For sure, for sure. And thanks to everybody that's joining in with us tonight. Obviously, this is the first time we're doing this. They'll get longer. And and not, uh, we got about eight more minutes left before we got to close things up. Uh, we appreciate y'all joining in. If y'all have any questions, feel free to send them in here. Uh, I did write up some questions in case y'all were a little uh, shy to, to talk to them because I know that does happen. Uh, let's talk a little bit of football, uh, sh- uh, Mike. What do we need to w- do tonight to get the win versus Pittsburgh? It, it's rumored that Jamari Thrash and Johar Jordan are a little banged up. They're they're questionable to play. It's been raining up there. A lot of a lot of people nationally have been hating on us all day long. Yeah. I don't get it. I don't see it. But what do you think we got to do to uh to to win this game tonight? Uh, I think really like 
I think we got a lot of weapons outside of Jawar and uh, Thrash, like Chris Bell. And I know we got some other um, receivers, too. And uh, our backup running back is pretty nice. I don't know his name exactly, but we got, like, two running backs that are good. They're not Jawar, but they're just as good, too. Like, they they run the ball pretty good, too. I think the defense, if the defense just do, does their thing, like, that's been, the, that's been the number one thing I've been impressed with. For the football team, for real, is that is that defense? Like they really been locking in and shutting opponents down. Like they did a great job versus Notre Dame. So I think like if they just do their thing, how they do every week, and uh, limit Pitt from doing whatever they're trying to do, I think we'll come out with a win. And then just try to limit turnovers. Like have no silly turnovers. Absolutely, and yeah, Maurice Turner is the backup running back. He's yeah, really good in the. Receivers, you got Amari Huggins, Bruce. You got the yeah. the uh, the kid from Tennessee. I can't. I always. He's the only one that I just. I always number have. Nine, kind of, number nine. What is his name? Number uh, seven. Uh, Amari, that's Amari Huggins, Bruce. Amari Huggins. Yeah, that's my boy. I like him. Yeah, he's nice. Yeah, he, like number uh, number seven's the one. I'm, I'm, it's Kevin something. Maybe maybe y'all can help us out on the chat line. Uh, come, speaking of the chat line, uh, Fred says, "Love the legacy talk." Got to think that. Uh, K, everybody that plays for KP is joining a brotherhood with the coach himself. Absolutely. Uh, Wes wants to know, Mike, how much better are you feeling another year removed from your ACL injury? Your shot is money for sure. Callaway, Jimmy Callaway. Yes. Thanks, Fred. Uh, I haven't really like, I haven't really thought about it for real. Like just as this question has been bringing up, it kind of like brings me back to my injury for real. Like, I kind of be forgetting that I was hurt, but uh, <laughs> I feel like, I progressed a lot. Like last year coming to the season, I think in the beginning of the season, I wasn't quite ready. I was cleared, but I wasn't quite ready like shape-wise. And then my body was still getting adjusted to just getting back out there and playing a game and stuff. But as the year progressed, I got more comfortable, got more in shape and started to feel like myself again. And then I've just built off of that. Uh, been hitting the weight room hard for my legs and stuff. Mm -hmm. Trying to catch like my left leg up with my right leg, uh, that's been like a a big thing for me because coming from Achilles, like your your left calf and your quad and hamstring muscles kind of get a little bit weaker than your other leg. So catching that up with my other leg has been a big thing for me, and I think I've done that. I'm feeling more explosive and like myself again from high school. So yeah, I've been doing pretty good with that. Yeah, and we, we talked about that a lot over the off season too. You keep me updated on that when you were checking in on me, and I appreciate that. You, you speak about uh, – you talk about trying to forget about that. And then as an athlete, trust me, I had back-to-back -back ACL injuries here at Louisville. I never got on the field because I tore my, my left one my freshman year. First day back in practice, I was running a route, tore the right one. So it was a wrap for me. But uh, KP talked the other day in the press conference about you all not forgetting last year, whereas everybody else wants to forget it and put it in the past. Uh, how does something like that – how do you use something like that to motivate you and fuel you and to encourage you you all to, to not repeat that this year? It's just like the feeling – it's like a feeling that you never want to have again. Like you you kind of – you kind of got like numb to all the bad stuff that was happening because it was just happening over and over again and then like – you just never want to have that happen to yourself again. Like I didn't, I wasn't having fun. I didn't have the love playing for basketball. I was going hard because that's how, I, that's all I know how to do. And I was trying to win because I'm a competitor. But like the love for it, because you just losing over and over again, was kind of like going away, and you never want to have that feeling again. And then just being around these group of guys is kind of bringing that back and giving me that hope again. Like I know we're gonna have a great season because it's how hard we work and how together we are in our chemistry. And he reminds us almost every other practice, like what happened to us last year and how we can't let that happen to us this year again. So, yeah, he don't, he don't let us forget it at all. That's what's up. That's what, I'm going to ask one more question, and they're going to do the uh, – it's going to shut off here in about four minutes, and we'll wrap things up. Shane, I wanted to ask you, who from your national championship team does Mike remind you of? And if there's not somebody, somebody that you watched here at Louisville, Mike remind me of uh, on our team. Mm -hmm. I guess I have to say the closest person, 
because I, I didn't know Mike was going to be that tall, you know, when I first met right. him. All right, he actually lived up to the – where they put him in the you know, paper on. So, <laughs> I had to say I had to say Kevin Ware. That's exactly who I was going to say, Kevin. They're, like yeah. Mike Slash is like Kevin. Yeah. He can hit that, that deep shot like Kevin, yeah, plays D yeah. like Kevin, and all yeah, that. You know, he got the little sneaky little bounce kind of. You know, <laughs> he'd get up there. So, yeah, For I think sure. I'd say Kevin Ware. Yeah. That's For sure. And, and and absolutely uh Beast on here says we need more time with this. This has been fun. I've still got twenty more questions to ask. We don't I have the time to ask. How long it. we got? We got yeah. like three minutes left. Oh, minutes left. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, yeah. really quick before it shuts us off, and it's just gonna shut off on us. We don't have to do anything. Tell them where they can uh Mike, you've changed your Twitter in the last couple of days. Yeah. Tell them where they can find you on Twitter and uh Shane, you let them know where they or just all the socials all together. What's yours, Mike? On 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 socials? Mike, Mike James. My Twitter is Mike James Zero, spelled out Z E R O. And then my Instagram is Mike James Zero with the number zero. Where okay. Am I Got it. So th- that's why you're not following me back on Twitter because you probably just don't use it. No, I got it. I probably lost that phone. <laughs> you, know, they, you know they need. You know they need uh, co- uh, confirmation from that telephone. I lost that phone. <laughs> well, yeah. we want to thank everybody for taking part in the first of many Louisville live streams here on the Rave On Sports app, brought to you by the Five Hundred Two Circle. Make sure you stick around in the live chat. Uh, we'll, we'll be there for a little bit. I- I'll be there for the whole game. I don't know what you guys are planning on doing. Uh, I'm we gonna appreciate. Watch, I'm gonna watch the game here in a second. So, yeah, yeah, sure. makes sure that, that's good. I'm glad y'all put that in the chat. We're gonna watch the game in a second. Do y'all have any final? Do y'all have any final comments? And do the fans have any final questions? Either one. Uh, no final comments, but you know we're gonna have a good season this year. Um, they put in the work. I see it. So we're gonna transfer to that court. They know that. Yeah, I sure. say keep supporting the football team. Uh, I've been going to the games. The support has been crazy. It's cool to see. All the car nation there. Let's transfer it over to basketball season. Absolutely. Y'all want to give a prediction to Mike? I'll let you go first. What's the prediction for tonight? 42 10. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> we're we, we going to put up some points. We're going to put up yeah, some points. Okay. 32, 32 17. I, th- I think I predicted last night on on, uh, on on my show 37 to 10. So I think we're all right in the same wheelhouse yeah. there. Uh, yeah. B says thank They're you all for your time. They definitely covered that seven and a half. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Wes is going to ask one last question. I don't know if we're going to get cut off in the middle of it. If so, we'll answer it in the chat. He wants to know, Mike, who's the one-on-one king in practice? Hey, I'm going to give credit where credit is due. Trey White is hard to guard. Hey, Trey White is – I'm going to say that too. He's Trey, Trey White hard. is going to be a mess-up problem for a lot of people. I got to yes, give sir. credit. I can – Trey White. It's definitely yeah. gonna be a problem. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. That's, that's, it's great to hear stuff like that because then, w- when you have great players on the court, you you've got to battle plan against them differently. You can't just play man defense. You you've got to double team people, and that lets people like that lets that's let lets everybody else be able to be open for threes and knock them down like only hey. Mike James to do. Watch for out sure. for the freshman too, Curtis Wynn. Curtis Williams yeah. is nice. Curtis Williams. I'm telling you. Yeah. yeah they got no sense. We're gonna, it's going to be exciting this year. Now, I like the That's little one. freshman that just came in, Ty Law. I like him, too. So. Yeah. And his name Ty Law, right? Ty- yeah, yeah, Ty Law. Ty Law, yeah. I like him, too. So. Be real yeah, good. It's going to be definitely, you know what I'm saying? They got some stone pieces, man. We just got to put it together and mm-hmm. go. You know, no yeah. egos. I promise everything will be good. It ain't, ain't been none of that, so. That's we great. It, that's, that's, that, that's, that's, that's that right one. Yeah. yeah, that's that one. You know that, Brody. You know that. Yeah, for sure. I was gonna say that was my biggest takeaway from the other night uh, at the red white scrimmage was that you could tell that you all, and it's not always like that. You don't always.